Hi guys, so you need a visa for Egypt and you're wondering what's the process like or how much does it cost? What do I need to do? Um, I've been in Egypt for over seven months now. Right now I'm on the Nile here in Cairo and so I've just renewed my visa for the second time. In this video I'm going to give you all the information as quickly as I can, whether you're looking for a visa, e-visa or a visa on arrival, renewing your extensions, um, the length of stays you're able to stay, what kind of documentation you're gonna need, the prices and costs of these uh, visas. So yalla, let's go. I would like to mention that the visas I'm going to be talking about are just tourist visas. They are not student visas or business visas. All right, so for your initial visa to Egypt, you are going to have two different options, the e-visa or the visa on arrival. They are both very similar and cost the same, but I will break this down for you. So the e-visa is where you apply online, pay with a card and wait to be approved. You have a single entry visa, which costs 25 US dollars and lasts for 30 consecutive days inside of Egypt before you need to leave the country. The other option with the e-visa is a multiple entry visa. That cost is 60 US dollars and also grants you only 30 consecutive days within Egypt at a time. However, you are able to go in and out of the country. So maybe if you wanna go visit Jordan or Lebanon, Morocco, Israel, wherever, you are able to leave and then come back in. That lasts for a certain amount of time as well. If you are looking for more information on the e-visa, Look in the description below this video. I will give you a link which gives you more information on that. With the visa on arrival, this is my preferred method just because I think it's a lot easier to do. I mean, you can do it online, but you're waiting for the approval and then the clock starts ticking once it's approved. And I mean, like again, you can read about it online. Guys, if you're coming to Egypt and you're interested in knowing more about the country or seeing a little bit more, I have lots of videos about what SIM cards to get or how much hostels cost if you're budget backpacking, street food and the cost of street food, desert tours, um, just walking uh, through the markets and showing you raw footage of what the streets of Egypt look like, motorbike rides. I have a lot of different types of videos so check that out. With the visa on arrival, it's super easy. So you have a 30 day visa on arrival, 30 consecutive days inside of Egypt, also 25 US dollars. Once you get off the plane, you're going, uh, you're leaving, you're following the crowd, you're approaching passport control immigration. Look to the right, there's a little kiosk over there, that's where you're gonna get your visa. Don't bother waiting in line because once you hit the passport control, they're gonna tell you to go over and get your visa first. So that's where you get your visa in the Cairo airport. But yes, I would do a 30 day visa on arrival and then I would just extend if you're looking to stay longer. And where you're going to want to renew your visa is, uh, well, it's a little bit complicated in Egypt or a little bit hectic at least, but don't worry, that's what I'm here for. I'm gonna make all this uh, as smooth as possible for you. So let me just stress that one more time for you guys, whether you're getting the e-visa or the visa on arrival, whether you are getting a 30 day visa or a multiple entry visa, or if you see something that says a 90 day visa, it is only allowing you to be in Egypt for 30 consecutive days at a time before you need to leave the country. Egypt doesn't have 90 day visas where you can stay 90 consecutive days. You are required to leave after 30 days. So I just want to stress that. I know before I came to Egypt, I was looking for a 90 day visa or a six month visa, and that is not an option for Egypt. However, you are able to extend one you are in the country so if you are looking to stay longer than 30 days I would recommend doing what I did get a 30-day visa on arrival or an e-visa and then extend within the country that is when this uh, becomes convenient or useful because in the offices in, in Egypt they grant you longer stays there are a few offices throughout Egypt I believe where you can renew or extend one I know is in Sharm el Sheikh over on the Red Sea but I've only done it in Cairo so this video is going to be specifically on how to do it in Cairo at the immigration office. So at an office you're able to extend your visa for up to one year or at least that's what I hear although I have asked for a year extension both times I went the first time they granted me six months extension even though I asked for a year and the second time they um, extended it for five months which is just recently even though I asked for a year. I also know somebody that wanted six months extension and they received three months so perhaps ask for more time than you're actually wanting because I think they will likely give you less. So renewing or extending your visa in Egypt. This is a bit of a hectic process but don't worry that's what I'm here for. I'm going to give you as much information as I can to make it as smooth of a process as possible for you. 
So to extend your visa in Egypt, in Cairo, the office is called the General Administration of Passports, Immigration and Nationality in the neighborhood of Al Araseya. So if you're coming from downtown Cairo, heading in the direction of the airport, you're going to pass through Islamic Cairo and a little bit beyond that you have the Immigration Office. Again, the name of that is the General Administration of Passports, Immigration and Nationality. It used to be located in Tahrir Square, the office, which was very convenient for most tourists and foreigners. I believe it's a much easier neighborhood and most people stay in downtown Cairo when they're here. However, they moved that about a year or two ago and now it's in uh, Baseya. So the office is open from Saturday through Thursday from 8 in the morning till 4 p.m. for visa application or extension. For pickup, it's open on Saturdays, but don't try to go on a, on a Friday. They're closed on Fridays, and don't try to go on a Saturday if you're beginning the application process. It's only for a visa pickup once you've already applied. And I would go as early as possible um, anytime you're, you're either picking up or applying. Uh, so be there at 8 in the morning or even slightly beforehand. You know, traffic in Cairo is always a bit crazy. So the later it gets, uh, the, the hectic and the, the place is a zoo, like I said, you know, it's just, it's crazy. So try to be there as early as possible to begin this process. Things to bring when you're going to the immigration office is a pen, a mask, photocopy of your uh, passport photo page, a photocopy of your visa stamp for Egypt page, and a passport sized photo. Now, if this is your second time extending, also take a photocopy of your foreign residency card don't bring a lot of valuables don't bring you know a camera the security is going to take that they're going to wonder why you're having it you're not going to be filming in there anyways um, government offices and officials don't like to be filmed so leave that all at your hotel your hostel your apartment and just bring what is necessary if you want to bring the money that you're going to need you can I would bring around 2,000 Egyptian pounds but likely though that first day you're just going to need to pay a small fee and then the second day you're going to pay more so you're outside the main gates of the immigration office. You're going to want to pass through the gate, go straight ahead and hook to the right. Basically just follow the crowd. Almost everyone is going into the same building as you are. Once you approach this building, you go up a few steps. The entrance for women for the security checkpoint is on the left, the men to the right. You're gonna pass through that security, go inside the building and just go straight up to the third floor. Once you're on the third floor, you're getting off that escalator, go straight ahead into the room and then hook up to the, the left, to the far co um, corner. So the far left corner of the room, you'll see window 37. Get in line. Once you are in front of the window speaking to the man, you're going to hand him your passport, say visa extension. He's going to give you a large um, piece of paper that you are going to then fill out, step to the side, find a seat, fill out that paperwork, and then return to the window. You don't need to wait in line again to hand that piece of paper back. I usually just stand to the side and kind of wait for an opportunity when he's not speaking with someone else. Um, that's just the way things work in Egypt. If you want to stand in line, be my guest, but you know, to get this done properly, you're going to want to be a little bit more aggressive. Um, otherwise, people are going to be cutting you off and it's just, there's no like, Format, formatted line there's kind of just a huddle of people so hand that paperwork back to him he's going to then give you a slip of paper with a number on it go take a seat sit down somewhere and watch the TV screens for your number to be called don't spend too much time somewhere because in my experience the number actually gets called quite quickly surprisingly so I wouldn't go out and you know get food or something I would just wait for your number to be called once that's called go to the appropriate window and at this window you're going to give them all of your documentation so the passport photo, all the photocopies, your passport. Um, they might ask you some questions like, why do you want to stay in Egypt? You know, and then obviously give you your reasons, whether you're studying, you're loving Egypt, you know, you want to spend more time exploring the country, whatever. And at that point, they will look over your paperwork, give you a slip of paper, which is a receipt, and you're going to pay that at the bank typically less than 100 Egyptian pounds. I think both times I paid 60 Egyptian pounds. Once you have uh, paid, head back to the same window, speak with the person at the window. They will shuffle around some more paperwork and then likely tell you to return in a few days, probably four days, to finish the visa application process, which is where you will receive your passport, the visa extension, and pay the full amount for that extension.
Okay, so day two, you have waited a few days, you're back with your receipt, uh, go straight into the building to the third floor once again, and head to window four, five, or 11. One of those windows, they will direct you to the correct one. I bounced around between them, it depends on the day. But head to window four, five, or 11, show them your receipt, they will send you to the bank again, which is this another window in the middle of the third floor, um, in the middle of the room pay the full amount for your visa, which the second time I paid was 1,865 Egyptian pounds. It was also around the same price, if not the same price, the first time I extended. So once you have paid that full amount, you're going to head back to the window that you were just at. You might have to do a bit of waiting, a little bouncing around, but eventually they will look over all of that and tell you to come back in a few hours to pick up your visa and your passport. Upon returning to pick up your visa and passport, um, just be aware to come back a little bit earlier than they tell you to, especially if it's on a Saturday that you're picking up. I know I heard the lady say come back by 3 p.m. or be here at 3 p.m. and I showed up at 2.50 p.m. on a Saturday and everything was like shut down. I mean there was a few stragglers I was able to be inside the building but there was no one behind the windows and barely any people in the building at all and so I had to return another day. So yeah, speaking from personal experience, always show up a little bit earlier. You're, you you know, it's better to just sit around and play on your phone or practice Arabic or whatever and then have to come back another day. All right, so you have returned and you're there to pick up your, your passport and your visa extension. You're going to receive a card and not a stamp in your visa or a stamp in your passport like most countries do. They actually give you a foreign residency card. Um, it's a tourist foreign residency card, so you're not able to work with that. But yes, that is how you are able to renew your, your visa in Egypt. Like, subscribe, that would really make a big difference for me and my little channel. So I hope this helps you. If you have any other questions, you know, leave a comment below and I will definitely get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. Shukran. Uh, I hope to see you in Egypt and I'll see you guys on the next one.